Okay, now that we have the gussy stitched to the front of the bag, and we have the pocket uh, stitched to the back of the bag, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the leather for the hardware which will hold the strap. For example, you have uh, these ring holders which we will cut out and uh, use for these ring on the side which will hold the hooks. So um, we'll get that cut out. Now one thing that I want to uh, let everybody know is that what I'm doing is not trying to teach you how to design but to uh, teach you the craftsmanship of how to um, construct the products. Once you learn the process, you know what, um, designing that's just creativity. You will come up with your own look, your own design, but I just want to show you this particular process right here is the same thing as making this bag here. Just a different size, you know, uh, it's made a little different as far as this one is this one is more vertical this one is more horizontal so it's the same process you have your uh, you have your gussy you have the front of the bag you have the, the back of the bag which includes the flap. Now that, that is the same as this. You have your front, your gussy, the back of the bag include your flap. Now this same process is the same process I use to make this bag shape a little different but it's the exact same process front back with the flap with your gussy same thing with with this bag I just added a skull on, on the flap front flap the back, the gussy, and like I say now, the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to make the uh, the ring holder and the strap. And like I said, basic. I'm trying to show you is a process. And once you you get this, you will be able to make so many different products with so many different looks. Okay. So next thing we'll do, I'll go ahead and show you how to cut out the pieces for your ring. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to cut out the uh, ring holders. This ring is is one inch. This is a, a one inch ring. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out a two inch wide strip of leather, which would be about seven inches uh, long. So it's going to be about two by seven inches. Now, if you notice the leather, it, it has this curve to it. So you always want to start with a straight cut. So what I will do is that I will take my ruler, take my rotary blade, and I will cut a straight cut. So now that I have a straight cut, what I will do I will line up my ruler at the two inch mark, which is from here to here is one inch, from here to here is two inches. So I will line up this, this, this two inch mark on top of this straight line. 
So I'll just line this up. Cut it out. So now I have my two inch by seven inch. I'm going to cut out a second one because I need two. So I line this up. Cut out my second one. Now I have my two. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to glue, I'm going to glue these together. I'm going to take this, I will glue it. And this is the, the con contact cement glue. I'll let that dry for a minute while I glue the second one. Now after I have them glued, what I will do, I will fold them inward. Just take it, fold it. Now this is the same way we're going to make the strap for this bag also. There's a couple of ways to make the straps, but this is this is one way I'm going to show you. I will show you another way of making straps when I make a, a different type of bag. So I'll just fold these. Now I did cut them longer than I needed to. It's always better to cut to where it's longer. You can always cut away. Uh, you can't add. You cannot add to it, but you can cut away. So what's going to happen is that this will fit on here like this. But what we will do is that we will cut it uh, to where we cut we're going to cut it and shape the tips and shape the, uh, the, the tip on this here when we cut it. And like I say, this will be go on the side. So the next thing we'll do is, is cut these. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to cut the, uh, the tip of the uh, uh, straps. Now, these are called strap-in cutters. Well, strap-in punch. That's what they're called, strap-in punch. And they're, they're, they have several different shapes. Now, the shape that we're going to use will be this one here. Uh, this one here, for example, if, if you was making a belt, and this is your, your belt strap, and you use this particular cutter here, the shape that you will get would be this shape here. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a, a, a little sh a shape with a more of a point to it. So what we'll do, we will cut this shape. See how this gives us a, a different shape to the, uh, to the tip of the, the strap. So I will take this, I will fold this over, and I will kind of estimate how, how long I want it to be because I need it to be long enough so I can put two rivets in here. So I'm going to cut it 
about right here. Which turned out to be five inches. So this is what it's going to be like. This is going to be like this and this will fit on the gussy. The next thing we'll do, we'll edge coat it and uh, punch the holes. And then after we do that, we will sew the, the front of the bag to the back of the bag. But we need to pre prepare this to go on before we, we sew this. Because once we, we sew the gussy on here, it'll be a little more difficult to punch the holes where this will go. So that's why we're doing it before we sew the, the front to the back. Okay? Okay, now that we have the, the straps cut, we're going to edge coat and then put on the Mod Pod. Okay, now that we have the Mod Pod on, we'll let it, let it dry and then we'll stitch them. Okay, now that we have the, the straps cut out that's going to hold the ring onto the gussy, we will sew these. attach them to the gussy. Okay, now that we have the straps cut for the for the rings, now what I did was I, I clamped the bag together. It's not glued yet because I want to show you something. We can attach this in two two ways. One is that we can use rivets. If we use the rivet to attach it we would have to use the hand press. Now, it would be a little difficult to get the bag underneath. Well, I think we can do it. We can do it. I, I think we can do it. Uh, we're going to attach it with, with rivets. Uh, the other way, and a lot of times I will stay away from it if the gussy is this narrow because if, if we go ahead and attach it uh, before we sew it we would have a problem trying to sew around the, um, the strap but I think we can go ahead and punch the holes uh, or pre-punch the holes and then sew it and then come back and use the hand press to press it on I hope I'm not making a mistake on this because the other way to do that is we can use what they call Chicago screws and you actually would just punch your holes, stitch it, go back through, put this part of the screw in and on the back side you would use a screwdriver to, to screw it in. 
but I, I think that we can use the rivets. I hope I am correct on that. So the next step we're going to do is that we're going to we're going to uh, go ahead and pre-punch the holes, and then after we pre-punch the holes, we will glue we will glue the the front to the back. So what I normally do is I will take a little contact cement glue and put just a very little glue in the center. So what I will do, I will close this, put a couple of clamps on it. I would do this before I, I punch my holes. So when I punch my holes, I don't have to worry about the top moving to where the top and the bottom are going to stay um, even across. So I would do that, then I would do the second one. Put just a little glue. And then I'm going to let this set. We'll let it set for about two or three minutes. And then we will punch the holes. Okay, now that we have let the uh, uh, glue dry, I'm going to punch a couple of holes. Now, what I do is that I just want to make sure that I'm not too close to this ring when I punch the holes. And I'll just put an imprint there. And I want to make sure it's centered. I want to make sure it's centered. So what I'll do, I'll just put an imprint to take a look. And then I, I don't want to go too far. I don't want to go too far to the, uh, well, too close to my, my thread. So I will go maybe about an eighth or a quarter of an inch for my stitch. Then what I would do, I would just punch the hole. Now that I have my hole punched on one, I will punch the hole on the second one. do is that I will take the front of the bag with the gussy. Now what I want to do, I want to line up the top of this strap where it folds with the top of this bag. I'll just line this up right here. Right up there with, with the top of that. And then what I will do, I want to make sure that I'm centered. So what I will do now, I will get my two rivets, insert the rivets, and then I will make sure that the top where the fold is is loaded with is uh, the top of the fold. It is even with the top of the gussy. Make sure it's centered. I will just press down, get an imprint, and then I will kind of tap it to make sure my imprint do not disappear on me before I punch the hole. Now I will punch the hole. Now that I have my holes punched, Take my, my cap, I 
catch it. Attach that. Now we're not going to lock it in just yet. But you know what? This is crooked. So what I'm going to do, I need to turn this to where it's, it's straight. Then I'll press back down. And I will re-punch that hole to make sure that this is make sure it's straight. I think what I'm going to do is get a a large rivet. Right now I'm using a medium. It's a little too short, so I'll use a large. Okay, that's much better. Now that's what it should look, should look like. Now what I will do, I will punch the hole uh, for the second one on the other side. And then after we do that, I will take take them off. And then I will glue the front to the back. We'll do the second one. the hole Next thing I'm going to do is now we have the holes pre punch. Now I'm going to glue the front of the bag to the back of the bag and then we'll sew it all the way around. And then uh, we will put on the strap that's holding the rings, the hardware, and the strap for the bag, and this bag will be finished. 